Breaking news now at 530. For the first time today, we're seeing the moments when prosecutors say a Gaston County man admitted to killing his girlfriend's three-year-old daughter. It's the latest evidence coming out of the trial against William McCullen. McCullen is charged with first-degree murder and the death of Jordan Dumont. This is back in August of 2016. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner is live outside the courthouse today. And Brandon, uh, what did McCullen have to say? Well, Xavier and Rachel, what Gaston County Police say is that they received a call from the jail saying that Mc William McCullen wanted to talk to them after he was arrested for Jordan Dumont's murder, after he was read his Miranda rights. This is what he said. William McCullen says those were some of the final words spoken by three-year-old Jordan Dumont as he described what happened to her inside this home almost two years ago. He was being interviewed by Gaston County Police Detective Brian Dalton. Yeah, we'll play around. She hit her head. Yeah, that's true. It got her attacked. Yeah. So, he, uh, at first, I didn't want her to go straight to sleep. And I wanted to eat a Kit Kat and stuff. She didn't want to eat. She didn't want to do nothing. And I just got mad. All she said is no. And she don't back on a lot, but that pissed, it's always very bad. It pissed me off whenever she says no. I was trying to give her a spanking, and she rolled over onto her stomach. And I was trying to roll her into a butt so I could spank her butt, and she said no. And when she rolled onto her back, and I punched her in the stomach. She cried. Not nah, she, uh, she said, oh, like, I mean, she did hurt her. Prosecutors also allowed the jury to get an up-close look at what they say are the clothes Jordan was wearing when investigators found her body. Initially, she had a, a white shirt on, best big sister. A crime scene investigator also showed jury members graphic photos of Jordan's remains. As his attorney flipped through the photos before the state presented them, you can see McCullen quickly turn away once he saw what they were. And the state is expected to wrap up its presentation of the case with one more witness, a medical examiner, tomorrow morning. Then it will be the defense's turn to present their case. Reporting live at the Cleveland County Courthouse, I'm Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte. I don't think there's anything he could say that would help us understand how someone could do this, but Brandon, thank you for that report.